Alfred Mutua was born on August 22, 1970 in Mazi in Machakos County. His mother is known as Agnes Mutua and his sister is known as N. Mutua. He was born in a family of two boys and one girl. Due to lack of money his parents relocated from Mazi to Kibera Slam so that they can afford to pay rent and buy food. He started his nursery education at Guadalupe Church Nursery School. He then went to Toi Primary School in Kibera. After his primary school he joined Dagareti High School for his O-level. While at Dagareti he perfected his acting skills and script writing skills, he then joined Jamhuri High School for his A-level. At Jamhuri School Mutua joined the drama club and script writing. He also participated in some sports like football and rugby. He became the president of the Senior Debating Society. Mutua enrolled for a Bachelor's of Art degree in Journalism at Whitworth College. He went for his Master's of Science degree in Communications at Eastern Washington University in the United States of America. Mutua did his doctorate in Communication and Media at the University of Western Sydney in Australia. At the age of 27 years he worked as a lecturer at Daystar University. He also worked as assistant professor at Zayed University in Dubai. Mutua worked at television stations such as PBS in Seattle in the United States of America and Nation Media Group. He also worked as a lecturer at the University of Western Sydney, Macquarie University, and Zayed University. He also worked as a journalist and he was famous for his article known as Msafari. He has a movie production company known as Golden Dreams Company Limited. He produced the first Kenyan action movie known as Cobra Squad. Among the top list actors who featured in Cobra Squad movie is the late Charles Bukiko who is known as Papa Shirandula. The movie was epic because it was written in such a captivating manner. The first series of Cobra Squad earned Mutua 25 million Kenyan shillings and the second series earned him 11 million Kenyan shillings. Mutua also produced a Kenyan drama series known as Beba Beba which used to be aired at NTV. He married Josephine Thitumondu on July 1, 2001. They held a big wedding ceremony at Nairobi Baptist Church in Ndong Road. They are blessed with three children. Their marriage started having complications and they divorced each other on August 19, 2015. They filed their divorce in Australia and Josephine stayed with their three children in Australia. Mutua lodged a legal tussle over custody of their three children with his wife in the year 2014. Later a court battle over property between Mutua and his ex-wife Josephine followed. In 2016, the court dismissed the matrimonial property suit that Mutua had lodged seeking to have the property that was acquired within the course of the marriage be divided. After their divorce he married another woman by the name of Lillian. They lived together for a long time but they didn't sire any children. After their divorce Lillian held a press conference and said that Mutua is refusing to let her go. She claimed that Mutua is after everything she owns including her car, she also claimed that her life was in danger because some people were following her. She went ahead to tell Mutua to leave her alone and move on. Sometimes back after their divorce Mutua held a birthday party and he invited her ex-wife Lillian, she came and they enjoyed the beautiful moment together. Many people even thought that they would reconcile and get back together but that never happened. They later divorced each other and Lillian got married to a Kenyan musician by the name of Giuliani. The late President Mwai Kibaki appointed Mutua as the first ever official government spokesman in Kenya in the year 2004. He also served as the Public Communications Secretary and the head of the Office of the Public Communications in the Office of the President.
His duty was to collect information and analyzing events within the setup of the government. His work also entailed communicating information to and from the media, government ministries, state corporation, and the public on behalf of employer which is the state. Under his stewardship in this office he established a public campaign initiative to promote Kenya's identity, image, culture, and pride among Kenyans. This was meant to encourage Kenyans to appreciate the positive attribute of their country. The campaign was dubbed Najavunia Kuam Kenya. Mutua worked as the government spokesman until the year 2012 when he quitted so that he can vie for the gubernatorial seat of Machakos County. He was in Waipa Party when he won the gubernatorial seat of Machakos County. He was sworn in as the first governor of Machakos County on March 27, 2013. Waipa Party is headed by Kalonzo Musioka. On August 2016 Mutua formed Mendilio Chap Chap movement which turned into a party. The action of launching and supporting a political party other than the one which sponsored him was considered controversial. Because of that action he was expected to vacate the office of the governor of Machakos County and seek a fresh mandate. He was to be now sponsored by his newly formed party Mendilio Chap Chap in line with Kenya's electoral laws. He did not vacate the office and seek a fresh re-election as the governor of Machakos County under his Mendilio Chap Chap. The Wiper Democratic Movement Party Disciplinary Committee deemed to have him resigned from the party. This is because he was capable of launching and supporting another political party. In November 2016 a member of Wiper Democratic Movement Party by the name of Stephen Muchuka filed a notice to impeach Mutua as the governor of Machakos County. The motion to impeach Mutua was signed by 46 out of 59 Machakos County Assembly members. This met the two-third threshold for an impeachment motion to progress. On the day of impeachment of Governor Mutua half of the 59 members of the assembly traveled out of the country. This was considered as a tactical move for scuttling the impeachment process. The motion was debated in the absence of 32 members of the county assembly. 26 out of 27 present members of the assembly voted to impeach Governor Mutua but the numbers were too few to impeach him. The 40 members threshold was not attained so Mutua survived the impeachment motion. Other things which made the members of the assembly to impeach Mutua was alleged breach of the Kenyan constitution. Procurement laws and devolution laws. In the year 2017 Mutua again vied for the gubernatorial seat of Machakos County and he won again and he retained his seat. He got a fierce competition from his opponents who were known as Wavinian Deti and Bernard Kiala. There were claims of election rigging and Mutua's victory was annulled by High Court Judge Agre Muchekul. In June 2018 the Court of Appeal also nullified Mutua's re-election as the governor of Machakos County. He went to the Supreme Court and on December 21, 2018 the Supreme Court of Kenya overturned the ruling of the Court of Appeal and victory of Mutua as the governor of Machakos County was reinstated. During his 10 years tenure as the governor of Machakos County, he improved infrastructure through lobbying international development partner, collaboration with the national government and county government initiative. Due to his work in community development, healthcare, recreational facilities, and food security in Machakos, he was ranked as the best performing governor at that time. On September 6, 2020, Mutua announced his plans to enter into the 2022 presidential race. He later on dropped his presidential ambitions and he supported William Ruto for presidency. Mutua is a very wealthy man and some of the properties he owns includes A&L Hotel which he co-owns together his ex-wife Lillian. 
His net worth has been estimated to have reached $5 million. He served as the cabinet secretary for foreign and diaspora affairs under the regime of the current president William Ruto. He has been currently moved to become the cabinet secretary of tourism and wildlife.